What's up guys? Um back here to do another uh video. I haven't done one in a while. But today I decided to do my top 10 favorite Red Sox cards. So these are just in order of my opinion, which ones I like the most and stuff like that. Um but yeah, we're gonna get started. Number 10 is this Mookie Betts mini patch card that is from 2016 Panini Diamond Kings and it's numbered 5 of 5 right there so little mini patch coming in at number 10 number 9 is going to be this Manny Ramirez patch um, it says Dodgers but you know he's in a Sox uniform so and it's got a Red Sox patch in there pretty nice it's numbered uh, only 16 of 25 right here by my thumb pretty nice card there's the back. It's got all the Dodger stuff, but yeah. Number eight. It's going to be this Ted Williams Legends from Tier 1. On this number 2 of 99. Pretty nice old jersey swatch right there. There's the back of that one. Uh, number seven. Is going to be this uh, Xander Bogarts patch. And that's only numbered 4 of 15. And that's from 2012 uh, Minor League Heritage. I pulled this one myself actually. Uh, the other three that I just showed I bought. But I actually pulled this one myself. That was pretty dope. Um, what are we at? Six? Number six is going to be this uh, Pablo Sandoval National Treasure patch autograph, um, seven of ten. This was actually my first Sandoval when he got traded to Boston. Had a few bad years, but this year in spring, I know it's only spring training, but he's hit four home runs, and I think he's leading. Mm, I don't know, but yeah, he's having a good spring. I was gonna say he's leading the team in RBIs, but I can't prove that fact. It's probably wrong, but yeah. Pretty nice. Um, number five is going to be this Dave Ortiz autograph from Signature Series Panini. Really like this card because even though Panini can't use the logos, the logos aren't needed in this card, which makes it amazing. And it's on card. I have another David Ortiz, but it's a sticker. And this one's number 20 of 99. Up there in the corner. Pretty nice. Um, number four. Is going to be my Blake Swihart 101 printing plate from uh, National Treasures. Um, this is the Colossal patch. It's from the O on the socks. Swihart Auto 101 right there. Pretty nice. He's my main PC guy. So that's pretty sweet. Um, coming in at number three is the card I bought yesterday from the Western New York uh, Sports Expo. I think the name of the show is called. And it's the... 9.5 Gem Mint 10 Auto, Jackie Bradley Jr., First Bowman Chrome, Blue Refractor. Pretty sick. In my opinion, I believe I got a pretty good deal on, about, on it. They sell for more than what I paid for it on eBay, so it's pretty too cool. But, of course, I'm not going to sell it because I collect Red Sox cards. So. And that's number 88 of 150. Up here. But well, pretty nice to get this one slabbed also. I was thinking about buying one, a raw one, but I held off on it, and thankfully I did because I was able to get, for an extra 20 bucks. I could I got this one that was already graded, so pretty good. Um, coming in at number two is going to be this Triple Auto, Triple Relic from 2016 uh, Triple Threads, which is probably one of my favorite products. I have a lot of Triple Threads of Swihart. Um, I have the triple relic too, but this one's the triple auto relic. Um, Swihart, Rick Porcello, my first autograph of him, and Dustin Pedroia. And he's got a blue jersey, white, and a, a maple bat right there. And that one is number two, where's it numbered? 14 of 18. Right there, you can see it in the light. But that one's pretty cool. There's the back. And coming in at number one... 
my most favorite Red Sox card I've acquired in the past month is going to be the one of one printing plate of the rookie 2013 Topps Finest, Jackie Bradley Jr. Um, auto patch. There's the one of one up there. Got an amazing deal on this one. Um, the gold one I have sells for what more than what I paid for this one. So, I mean, amazing. But yeah, there's my top 10, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys haven't subscribed to me, please do. I got post a lot of Red Sox Mail Days videos. I know you guys would enjoy. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.